Alright, what's up everyone? We're back at it again, and as usual, per usual for these videos, we're gonna go ahead and kill one of these zealots before we get started on everything, you know? Because, you know, might as well keep it a, keep it a thing. We'll make it a thing. I might even just kill two of them. But anyways, let's jump right over to it. Here he is, right up here, lining his own beeswax. We're just gonna come over here and crap on her. Oh, it's a girl. You know, I kind of feel bad for him because we are actually overloaded. But he still kind of hurts. Never mind. I don't feel bad. Come on, buddy. Come on. Do something. Okay. We're gonna pretend like that literally never happened, and we're just gonna we're gonna, we're gonna kill her this time. Okay. I I can't suck that much. Press. We have the numbers. Get out of here, boy. Jeez. I'm ready for you. Oh my god, dude. Oh, suck it, lady. Suck it. I really shouldn't be saying that to you. Got her. This is... She is dead. Yep. Bye. <laughs> Sit down. <laughs> oh my gosh. Easy. Easy. Worm came creeping. He tore a man in two. Then Woden took nine glory twigs. Uh, damn, Is this a like prayer? An offering or a final vestige of your oath? <laughs> Only a charm I never finished. Well, that's that. Okay, I, she was really annoying, man. Freaking healing every two seconds, and I had like five bandits attacking me while I was trying to kill her. Oh, anyways, on to what we're supposed to be doing. You are Oswald's powerful bride-to-be, Valdis. I'm not his. This marriage is to be an alliance, nothing more. Besides, the man can barely carry a sword or speak with conviction. <laughs> Oswald is many things, but a gifted leader he is not. Still, of everyone I have met here, he is the only one willing to be responsible for the place. I will leave you to your day. You can find Oswald by the docks. And watching the river calms him, apparently. <laughs> huh. Well, uh, let's go say hi to Oswald then. She doesn't seem like she cares very much for the man. Hey, Oswald. How's it going, my friend? Ah, good morning. Up bright and early. You can labor like a thrall, but you're no good with feasts. Not a good start for a king. No, indeed. I find a solitary comfort in my menial labors. Not something a king should admit to, I suppose. Hmm. The brothers shamed you at dinner. It's your duty to answer their insults. Don't let the matter lay unresolved. I have a wedding to plan and a kingdom to save. I haven't time to suffer fools. Fair enough. They betrayed your hospitality, Oswald. Where I'm from, that's a grave insult. Well, well. Here's the mud-soaked Saxon who's been <laughs> taxing my patience. Ah, uh, Steward Finnair. You stake claim to the throne. You dazed a dog with no bone. If Lord Halfdown were here, he'd squeeze ale from a stone. <laughs> what just happened? That's flighting, Oswald. Using rhythm and rhyme to lay a man flat. Try it. Match his verse. There's no man you can lead, you dunce of the thirds. Um, I'm glad to you are. Just stop eating your words. <laughs> Not bad. Not bad. Exactly. Not bad. Under all that tough posturing is a sniveling boy. So dig deep. When he brags, take a jab at his manhood. I've sailed squalls and north winds. You, not even a breeze. But the winds that you sail... Blow between both your knees. Blow between both your... Oh, you mean farting. <laughs> oh my gosh. He's got the wit of a boa, so when he insults you, make him feel stupid. When I'm done with you, cur... 
You'll be raven flock food, but your brain's soaked in mead, and your head's made of wood. Wood? Head's made of wood. He's an ugly puss, so when he brags, hit him back with something about his looks. I hail from the north, where the winters are season. But you're foul, you're a blister, you're a... a... Plague-ridden lesion. <laughs> oh, yes, Damn. that's very good. Plague-ridden lesion. Oswald, my boy, you're useless without your raven. This one's wrong for the throne. He's too soft and too tame. Give some back. About his height this time. You claim you're a Dane, but your bloodline is stained. A wee dwarf must have ravished your mum in the rain. Damn! You have a talent for verse, I'll give you that. But how long will that silver tongue hold up against an iron axe? Let's find out, Finir. I challenge you to a home game. You don't uh, mean that, Oswald. That's not a, that's good a idea. fight to settle disputes, no? A home game. A fight to the death. Yes. I'm stupid. I looked that man directly in his eyes and said something stupid. Why do I keep talking? What am I even doing here? Let's talk it out then. <laughs> <laughs> Too late. The challenge has been made. But a fight against Finir would not be anything to boast about. You'll fight me. Hold on. This is... That said, I should not be seen killing a Saxon in the streets of Elmenham. There's a nice islet down river, near Seahenge. The water will wash the blood clean away. Prepare the square, and we'll meet you there. I hope you're ready. Oh, I have to be. Just give me a moment to mentally prepare. Ah, uh, you'll be fine, Oswald. Do not make us wait long. It would not be kingly. <laughs> we're not actually gonna kill you. Just, uh, we're gonna be a little bit of training, you know? You made it. Now tussle with care. Go easy on a future king. He's the only man left who can claim the crown. I'll Kings are made, not born, Finir. So let us see what we can make of Oswald. I'll be tired anyways. I just swam like a freaking mile in the... Just to get here, man. What the hell? Couldn't <gasps> leave me a boat? You still got the touch for drawing a square. I've been in East Anglia many summers now. But I'd always be a Dane. Must we do this, Eivor? Yes, sir, Oswald. Strength and courage are always a boon, Oswald. You'll need both if you want the Danes to accept you as a king. True strength comes from resolve, Eivor. It speaks to us, a stern voice from within. I have never heard of talking guts, but a swift axe would silence that inner voice in seconds. You must be prepared. <laughs> Wait, you're unarmed? Oh, I don't need a weapon, but... Uh... Just do your best. I'll be fine. We will forge a king out of you yet. Oh my gosh. Back. One punch. You expect the Danes to follow this pork belly? Ah, shut I'm, up, Veneer. I'm still breathing, aren't I? Exactly. Show me what you can do, Saxon. Come on, shut Come up. now! Inspire us, king! <laughs> I'll do what I need to do. <laughs> Uh, what you're gonna do is get your butt kicked. <laughs> Look at that. I broke your shield with my freaking knee, Oswald. Why are you even still fighting me? <laughs> You'll never be king at this rate. Is this the best East Anglia has to offer? Yes, and I'll... I'll prove it! Come on, fight! Aww. It's a I like him. You seek. Finish this, Eivor! It pains me to watch! <laughs> He's still a good, Finir. I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, oh, you, you missed, buddy. You want me to fight! Oh, dang. Any more, my friend? Eivor is the victor. But you've shown us something, Oswald. Stay down, Oswald. That's enough. He's a good man. Good man. He gave it his all. I will... I will not stay down! You fought bravely. Not with great skill, but with spirit and courage. Always push back with everything you have. 
Even if you have to get dirty, even if you must break the rules. Because there are no rules. Not if you answer a challenge head on. That's where honor lies. Not winning the fight, but living through it. A seaside brawl won't change the brothers' minds. Oswald must show results. Redress old wrongs. Fight back against Ruid and his men. We can fight back. I have a clan. The raiders who attacked Beatley have a camp down the coast. The sooner we remove them, the better. That exactly. would go a long way to building you up. And if you brought gifts for the brothers, spoils from the raid, they'd be in your debt. Time to wet your blade, Oswald. A raid it is. I haven't gone a Viking in a while. Eivor, I expect your longship crew could help with this attack. Oh, no crap, Veneer. Like, what? Nah, they're just gonna sit on the boat and do nothing. <laughs> What's up, everyone? I'm bringing some friends today. Better get on, Oswald. I'm taking off. <laughs> Let the sail No one has been willing to take a stand against Ruid's clan before. Yeah, but we're here now. Farmers and merchants. Even farmers and merchants can fight when led by the right person. I hope your faith in pig farmers is not misplaced. I'm liking Oswald a lot. Anywho, uh, it's time to murder all of these people. They're gonna wish they were never here. Oh, Your own axe. <laughs> Eat your axe too, my friend. If I see any, I will your axe. Oh, he's dead. Hello. Good day. Die in a hole. Fight well, Oswald. Does the threat of death drive your blade further? <laughs> what if it compels you? And I'll do it. <laughs> exactly. Get off my crew. Leave Dringy alone, that's my mate. Oh, come on with the ride with me, come on. Right into this cage. Decapitation, my friend, decapitation. Hey, knock it off. Who do you think you are? Get out of here. I mean, come on. We're gonna try and kill Eivor. We gotta do better than that. <laughs> don't do that. I, I said don't do that, man. Look at this, now you got no arm. And an axe in the back of your head. Uh, why would you do that? Find something? There's a crate of hack silver here. More than enough to make everyone happy. Hey, that's all we we'll need. We'll take then. it to the ship. A hard one fight. Good job, Oswald. You okay, man? Hmm. This is my gift to the brothers. I have more than enough wealth in Elmham to widen their eyes, but this will be a symbol of my commitment to our fight. It's a good start. Take what riches you find to know the witch, then send for the brothers. I'll meet you there. All right. Well, that was fun. That's gonna be it for today, guys. Catch you later. Have a great one.